I'm Ann Sullivan and today I'm going to show you how to use the metronome to work on your subdivisions. So when we talk about a subdivision of the beat we're talking about those smaller portions that make up the beat and today I'm going to work with just the subdivision of the beat into two parts like subdividing a quarter note into two eighth notes. If you've ever had a teacher tell you to remember to count those subdivisions so that your notes were the right length, not too short, not too long, that's what this technique will help you do. Now for demonstration purposes I'm going to use the rhythm from the melody line of Bach Minuet in G. You know that. Just those first eight bars and I'm not going to play this on the harp because if you are playing and working on metronome skills, the playing can be actually a distraction, right? You worry about the wrong notes, you worry about the fingering. So that's the rhythm that I'm going to be using, but I'm actually just going to be using the metronome and my counting and tapping the beat. And we're going to work on it this way. So let's start with a very basic skill. Let's get the metronome going. I'm using 80 to the quarter note here. And then with the metronome, I need to count. My piece is in three, the minuet in G is in three, so I'm going to count three beats with that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Remember, it is essential to still count even when you're using the metronome. Counting and the metronome are not the same thing. The metronome will help you keep an even beat. The counting is what helps you remember the meter, that pattern of accented and unaccented beats. So just because you're using the metronome doesn't mean you don't have to count. So. We're going to count with the metronome, and then, after I've established that meter, I'm going to tap the rhythm of the minuet in G along with that. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one. Two and three and one, two, three. Not terribly difficult, but really good practice. Line up your counting with the metronome, with your clapping. Everything should go together. If you're trying to work on a particular passage in a piece you're playing and you need to sort out that rhythm, this is a great way to do that. Actually, away from the instrument, give yourself a little chance to just sort of tap and clap and get it, get it down that way. Now, that's the easy part. Here's the tricky part. I'm going to turn my metronome back on. Instead of having the metronome be the representation of the beginning of each beat, one, two, three, one, two, three, I'm going to make the metronome click the and of every beat. And my counting is still going to be on the beat, but my counts will no longer be with the click. The click will come in between my beats. This can be disorienting, it can be difficult, it can be hard to sort of start. I always wait for the metronome to click and start counting on an and. And one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and... Notice, with the metronome clicking on that and, there's almost no way I can screw up the length of the note, the length of a quarter note, because the metronome is there reminding me how long that is. And that's a wonderful, wonderful skill to be able to have, to have that going on in your head and have the metronome train you for that. So I'm going to start again, I'm going to start counting, and then I'm going to tap the rhythm. And this is again not with the metronome click, right? I'm, I'm in charge here, not the metronome. And one, and two, and three, 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 and one, and two. Three and one and two and 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 three and okay now we turn off the metronome give your ears a rest that can be a little disorienting a little confusing to start with but it is fabulous fabulous training and really really essential now I don't I don't practice every piece that way and I don't do this kind of thing all the time but every every once in a while it's a really good idea just to sit down with the metronome 
and just check your skills away from whatever instrument you play. Away from that, just work on a little bit of rhythm stuff. Make sure that your inner metronome is lining up with a real metronome and it will pay great rewards. You will really notice the benefits in your playing. So give it a try and I will see you next time. Bye.